Uh, next one, strawberries. There's actually a few very interesting facts about this delicious fruit. Strawberries are from the rose family. And did you ever stop to think that it's the only fruit that has seeds on the outside instead of the inside? Also, did you know that having just eight strawberries will provide you with more vitamin C than an orange? Strawberries are full of antioxidants, folic acid, potassium, which is essential for our heart, and fiber. Strawberries gained their reputation as an aphrodisiac due to its large number of tiny seeds symbolizing fertility. In art and literature, the strawberry was usually portrayed as a symbol of sensuality and earthly desire and has been described as a fruit nipple. <laughs> There's actually, sorry, <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys find this interesting, but truly food sometimes visually is exactly what it does to you. And I know that sounds crazy, but foods that look sexy actually do enhance all the sex hormones. And not only that, there's actually fruits that, you know, nature also ha always has a little hint for us. For example, take a walnut. It looks like brain and it's great for our brain because it's so rich in omega-3, which yes. is essential for our brains. And you know what? I never thought about it, but you're right. Uh, the walnut definitely does look like a brain when you open it up. Yeah. That's a very that's a, a very visual um, uh, food to use to drive home that point. Thank you, Ada. And I, I just want to say I also <clears throat> recommend to my clients to always do walnuts in the morning because yeah. it is a very um, oxygenated food for the brain to people uh, to start their day. Yeah, exactly. So. Especially if they don't have time to eat, they can just yes. grab a, a handful of um, walnuts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, knowing its history as an aphrodisiac, the French made sure that all newlyweds were short strawberries on their big night. So strawberries can aid in boosting an otherwise like plastered libido by providing essential vitamins and minerals needed to supply energy and keep the fire burning. It's a great breakfast, snack, or dessert. You can get some dipped in chocolate for an extra libido booster, but more in chocolate later. Uh, let's move on to the coconut. Uh, the lore of the coconut is wide and varied. It's always portrayed as an item of great value. In northern India, it's the fruit from the tree of life, where coconuts are kept by priests to dispense and fertility food to women, uh, to women who wish to conceive. On the other hand, in Bali, women are forbidden to touch coconut palms for fear of draining the fertility of the tree into the woman. I personally love Thai coconuts. Its water is so sweet and delicious. It's very close to our own blood plasma. It's incredibly hydrating, rich in electrolytes, which is uh, great for serious athletes. It's great for your skin. It helps to rejuvenate oxidative tissue damage. It's rich in magnesium and potassium and has essential minerals for our heart. Also, coconut jelly-like meat restores male sexual fluids and benefits the nervous system. Coconuts are also a mecca for nutrition, and it's such a shame, Ada, that people have feared eating or using uh, the coconut because of quote-unquote fat or fat content. The kind of fat that the coconut has is saturated, and most people have heard that saturated fats are bad for you, and um, not all saturated fats are made alike. The ones from animal meat, for example, are very different from the coconut. Um, the fat is, uh, from the coconut is thermogenic, which means that it helps you burn off fat, and it's a great brain food, too. Many people don't know that the brain is mostly cholesterol, so fats, meaning the right kinds of fats, are essential to a healthy brain, and a healthy brain will keep your hormone levels balanced because most of your hormonal activity is in the brain. In addition to that, or that, it also normalizes your blood sugar, increases energy, helps weight loss, and is a powerful erotic oil. Coconut oil is also wonderful for the skin. It can be used as a body lotion, and um, it has a very wonderful smell. It prevents and lightens stretch marks and has antiseptic properties. A tasty and easy way to implement coconut into your life is by adding a tablespoon to your smoothies or on top of your oatmeal. It's the best cooking oil because it has the highest heat resistance. You know, I just want to add, I'm going to give two secrets away for people out there that really want to improve their endurance. Is Every morning I do a teaspoon, like it says here, uh, in my oatmeal prior to going to working out. 
it gives me a huge amount of energy and then after my workout, depending on the heat and depending on the distance that I do, I always do a coconut water. So I see a lot of people with Gatorade and all these other things and this is really the secret to electrolytes and feeling totally energized after a great workout. Yeah, well some people actually call it the uh, breast milk of mother nature, so... It is. <laughs> Alright, off to the next one. Pumpkin seeds. It's a wonderful source of B vitamins. They also contain many minerals and essential fatty oils. Pumpkin seeds contain hormone-building elements. They protect against heart disease and were traditionally used for prostate disorders. They are true for Dizek for men because they help build seminal fluid and increase sperm count. In women, pumpkin seeds activate sexual organs and increase sexual fluid secretion. Also, the chair. You want to say something, Michelle? Please go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laughing here in the corner. We it's just, it's just amazing that foods can actually produce these results. I know, yeah, right? It really is thought? astonishing. So that's all I want to say. All right. Also, um, uh, pumpkin seeds are very rich in tryptophan, and um, it elevates one's mood and the feel-good hormones, which is a serotonin. I think it's important to note why serotonin enhances relationships. Um, the tryptophan found in pumpkin seeds that Ava was talking about does improve the mood and increases um, the, the feel-good hormone um, and that primarily is known as serotonin. Uh, serotonin enhances relationships other than, um, as my daughter puts it, making you feel like a rock star. Serotonin helps the body create oxytocin. Oxytocin is the hormone that's responsible for feelings of togetherness. Um, and that's true in traditional as well as Eastern medicine. The, this hormone is secreted when making love, but it's also secreted when you feel like you're in love. The only problem with serotonin is that the body adapts to the levels of serotonin over time and it's not as effective or as strong. So as the effects of serotonin decrease, so does the production of oxytocin. So a great way around this is to feed your body natural forms of foods that will raise the serotonin levels. Other than pumpkin seeds, some other foods rich in tryptophan um, will trigger the serotonin and oxytocin levels in your body. Uh, two that I know of right off the bat are uh, oysters and turkey. But as Ada uh, may or may not have noted, when you heat foods up, the tryptophan is sort of burned out of the food itself. So I would say go with the oysters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oysters, that yes. is. And, and uh, the pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds, or actually cacao, is also very rich in tryptophan. And if you get raw cacao, then obviously you'll get a great source of that. Delicious. So next to the maca. This is one of the most important foods that we will discuss when it comes to enhancing your sexual power. It's a root native to the Inca. Incan warriors would consume maca before entering into the battle. The story goes that after conquering a city, the Incan soldiers were stopped from using maca in order to protect the conquered woman from the warrior's powerful sexual impulses. Maca is also a very important mood enhancer, antidepressant, infertility aid, and helps, see, and helps ease menstrual discomfort and disorders. Maca gets the thyroid running, so weight comes right off. It's a very important nutritional hormone balancer with natural progesterone and testosterone, which make you stay younger, longer. It goes well with desserts and smoothies in the mornings. Maca is a very strong libido enhancer, showing its effect on people within just a few hours. And that is true. This is my favorite uh, food. Um, what I've noticed for myself when I started maca about six months ago, um, being a ex-sugar addict, which I really was um, daily, it has stabilized my blood sugar where I don't crave sugar anymore and the energy that I have is incredible and it's long lasting. Yeah, same here. So there's like no sugar craving at night anymore and my mood, there's no more um, 
I almost would feel a little, if I was ever sad, let's say during the day or disappointed, I'd go and grab sugar. Mm -hmm. And I find now that it's just consistent, my mood today. Exactly. Yeah. So it's really a remarkable food. So I recommend it to everybody out there. I would also like to comment on those women struggling um, with a thyroid condition. Uh, if you read my own personal history, it's something that I battled a, high, a very slow thyroid. And my um, endocrinologist gave me a prescription for Synthroid, which I took um, and succeeded to just put aside and made the choice to try and deal with my slow thyroid naturally. I did that by literally starting with one tablespoon and then eventually a tablespoon and a half into my morning smoothie and sometimes when I don't have time um, and forget to put it in a smoothie or have a different type of breakfast, I literally taste so good I just put it on a spoon and put it in my mouth. But that has been my medicine and my thyroid is completely fine and to actually add to the benefit of having cured that I also have a very high B content in my blood which was a surprise to me and when I looked at it the only thing I had changed was the amount of maca so maca is also very rich in B uh, vitamins so for all of those vegetarians out there that want an extra B bonus especially B12 Maca is incredibly powerful in this regard too and I can speak from personal experience with that. And I just want to add one more thing is that during those monthly cycles, I know the guys out there don't get that, but you're around the women that do possibly have that. When I do crave chocolate, Ada, the, the chocolate that I really enjoy the best is the maca chocolate that you have. So when I'm wanting that chocolate, that's the one I want to grab for, so it's yeah. an incredible. Well, there's a, a, a very special synergy between chocolate that has maca in it, which we both know from personal experience um, and having tried maca um, raw chocolates that Ada has made. Uh, the delivery system is magnified, and we'll let Ada talk a little bit about that, but I will say one thing. Maca and um, its effect show up a little bit stronger in men than women. So well, Maka is actually... Both. I can't speak for them, but for myself, I can. Me too. <laughs> I, I've, gotten, I've gotten comments from men about the actual, um, literal, quick um, sensations that Maka has brought to them. Some of my clients that I've worked with, mm -hmm. and it's been a it's been a very very good addition into their diet, and it's improved yes some of their health conditions, but it's also improved their relationships with their partners. So that's been great. Well, that's amazing. <laughs>